we're back with another great interview. I'm here at Google Cloud Next with Vitsa and Steren. Thank you both for being here. And they're going to talk to us about building generative AI apps on Google Cloud with Langchain. So, can you both introduce yourselves and then give me a brief little synopsis of your talk? Sure, uh, I'll go first. Uh, my name is Vitsa and I'm a developer advocate uh, in the Cloud Run team. Yeah, and actually Vitsa and I are on the same larger team, right? We are, yeah. And I am Steren Janini. I lead serverless product at Google Cloud. And yes, we've talked about how to build generative apps with Langchain on Google Cloud. So we had Harrison, the Langchain founder, with us on stage, telling the audience what Langchain was. Then uh, I, I explained how, what are the benefits of deploying in on Google Cloud with Cloud Run. We had a customer, L'Oréal, who built an internal uh, GenAI platform on Langchain and Cloud Run, showing us what they did. And finally, we had an amazing demo by Vidze to build that end-to-end -end during the session. Oh, wow. Oh, amazing. Okay, we're definitely going to talk about that. So let's start from the basics here, though. What is Langchain? We've been hearing it all around. What is it? Yeah, so Langchain is a framework that makes it easier to build generative AI apps, right? To build a Gen AI app, you need a few components, like a vector store, an LLM. And Langchain has a bunch of abstractions and a way to tie those components together uh, to build a chain, right? To turn a query into a response, for example. Wonderful, okay. And so I heard that Harrison, the founder of Langchain, right? He said that Cloud Run is actually the best place to deploy Langchain? Yeah, so what's Cloud Run, right? Maybe, maybe the audience doesn't know. So it's really Google Cloud's serverless runtime where you can run applications fast on Cloud Run. A great experience, simple, automated, fast, you know, developer experience, and also a very capable runtime of running any code, notably any framework like Langchain. All of that with a pay-per-use billing model where you literally pay on demand for what you use. So Langchain, um, coupled with LangServe, transforms into basically a web application that orchestrates um, an LLM, a vector database, and um, you know, does a request response flow to transform a user prompt into a response after having invoked uh, uh, an inference endpoint. So Cloudrun takes care of all of that for the user, you know, the auto-scaling, uh, the, um, the security, and it is very easy to deploy Langchain to Cloudrun. Actually, one command, you get, you get a, up and running. So you couple it with Cloud SQL database, with Vertex AI endpoints, and with potentially a load balancer in front, very similar to web serving, and you have your web API exposing your chatbot to your end users. Wow, one command, I love that. I'm, I love it when it's easy, fast, and simple, and I think a lot of our devs and users do too, so that's awesome. So, can you tell me a little bit about this demo that you did? You created a Gen AI application in the session. Yeah, so I did import the data before the session, so there was a bit of like TV cook uh, uh, experience in there. But um, yeah, so I started with a, with a blank can canvas, right? I, I created the Langchain app using their CLI, uh, and then I added in the chain. I, I wrote it uh, out during the session, um, and then finished with GCloud run deploy to get my, uh, my app live on an HTTPS endpoint. Wow, and that was, that was it. It was that easy. You had a nice playground where yeah, you could yeah, so I, interact with the uh, chatbot that you created. Yeah, so LangServe comes with a, with a playground so I could ask questions. I built a, a, a rack app that let me ask questions over the Cloud Run release notes. So I, I would ask it, um, does Cloud Run support volume mounts? And then the app retrieves release notes that were relevant to that query. Right, um, uh, release out about cloud storage mounts, about NFS uh, file shares, and then prompted Gemini both with the query uh, and the release notes that were relevant. And then the response was, yes, sure, it supports it with cloud storage and FS file shares. Um, yeah, that was the demo. So in terms of, this all sounds great, what if I want to start using it? How easy or maybe not so easy is it for me or our viewers if I want to start using it? Yeah, so if you have already a Google Cloud project set up, um, I've written a, a, a blog post that details all the steps to get from uh, nothing to a, a LangServe app that just calls Gemini with your query and deploy to Cloud Run. Wow, okay, so we'll make sure to link that blog post in the description. Um, and is your talk recorded? Yeah, absolutely. It will be on YouTube, we'll uh, check it out. We will also do more 
short videos to focus specifically on that use case and you know, give developers all of the tools they need to just replicate the demo and build their own. As we said, it's yeah. one command to bootstrap the app, another command to deploy it. Amazing. Well, make sure, like I said, to check out all the links in the description. We'll have everything for you there. Thank you so much for speaking with us and have a great rest of your next. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you.